Hi, and welcome back to Dwayne's Guitar Lessons. Sorry, it took a little while to get this to you. Um, in this video, we're going to work on the fourth pattern of the minor pentatonic scales. Um, I've been really busy with working and teaching and stuff, so it's taken a little while to get this to you, but I finally think I got some time to do this now. So, just a quick review <clears throat> we're doing these in the key of A. And if you watch the other videos, then you should already know that our first one is right here at the fifth fret, 5A. Our second one's going to be at 810. Our third one is going to be at 1012. Okay. And like I said before, these all connect together like puzzle pieces. So our next one, our fourth pattern, is going to be right here at, fifth, at the 12th fret. And it's going to be 1215, 1215 again on the fifth string. And then 1214, 1214 again on the third string. And then we're going to move up to the 1315 on the second string. And then the 1215 on the first string. Okay, once again, 1215, 1215, 1214, 1214, 1315, and 1215. Okay, so if we went back, it'd be 1512. 15, 13, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12. And you can tell that's in the key of A because it will reside right there on the A note. If we wish to start right here at the 15th fret on the first string and move up the scale and then back, You'll see very clearly how it resides right there on the A note of the sixth string. It tells us we're in the key of A. <clears throat> and like I mentioned before, you want to make sure that you learn those intervals. Your intervals are the distance between two notes. So that way you stay on the road. Like I discussed before, we're creating a road map on our fretboard. And just like when you drive a car, you want to stay on the road. And as long as you stay on the road, you can get to where you're going. This is the same concept. Now there's many different roads that you can do on the fretboard. This is just one of them. This is just a good way to get started um, playing some lead guitar, stuff like this. And then later on you can learn other scales and stuff. But these are just some basic. These kind of come from the blues. A lot of blues artists play these kind of patterns. Um, so once again, let's show, I'm just going to play a couple things in this pattern to show you how it sounds. So we're going to go like this. Okay, so now we can play basically from the 5th fret all the way up to the 15th. And if we know those intervals, <clears throat> we can move, you know, and you want to be able to visualize these patterns, like literally see them on your fretboard. And if you can kind of visualize those and work within the patterns, like I've been discussing in my other videos, then you can play pretty much all over the fretboard and still sound good, you know? And then what you want to do is, uh, once you learn your notes, you want to try to find all those A's. Because one thing about the guitar, it's basically 12 notes. Um, you've got two basically on each string. Some of the guitars don't have a full two scale, so some of them you might not have two. But you should have basically two notes on each string. So that's, you know, basically uh, two times six, that's 12. Um, and then you try to find those A's. Like we're in the key of A, so here's an A, there's an A. There's an A, this is a G, there's an A. So those are good key notes to kind of land on when you're playing. And of course that A right there. Yeah. 
And then, of course, like I said before, if you know those intervals, you can, uh, you know, even do something cool on one string, you know. And once again, like I said before, you want to practice your hammer-ons, your pull-offs, your bends, your slides, your vibrato, which is one of the hardest techniques. You just kind of bend the string up and down. And of course, if you want to play with speed, you've got to work on that alternate picking. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, now I mentioned before in the other videos too, like if we want to move to a different key, right now we're in the key of A. <clears throat> but let's say we wanted to play in the key of G, like I mentioned before. So pattern one would be here at 3 6, pattern two would be 6 8, pattern three would be 8 10, and of course pattern four now would be instead of at the 12th fret, would be moved down to, would be at the 10th fret. So now it's going to be 10, 13, 10, 13. 10, 12, 10, 12, 11, 13, and then 10, 13 again. Just same patterns in the key of A, just in a different position. And as you can see, that's in the key of G because it resides on the G note. <clears throat> so if we were to play that in the key of G, The other key I mentioned was the key of E. Now I think in the key of E we're going to run out of fretboard space. Let me see here. So that's one, two, three, okay, four would be way up here. So we could do it right here. The um, 19 to 22 actually. 1922 again. And then 19 to 21, 1921, 20, 22, and 19 to 22. So that would be in the key of E. tell that's an E because it rides right, resides right there in the key of A. I'm sorry, the key of E. Now when you're playing an E, you can also play it down here. So if we're playing it here at the 19th fret, which is the third dot, we can also play it here <coughs> at the third dot up here. Like I mentioned before, these fret markers are designed to let you know where you're at on the fretboard. And if you notice, um, you know, all electric guitars are pretty much the same as far as these fret markers. Some of them have one on the first first fret right here, but traditionally they just have 3, 5, 7, 9, 12. 12 is two dots because that's the end of your musical scale, then it starts over again. So if you've got four dots here and you've got four dots here, that tells you that these dots are going to be the same as these. These notes are the same as these, just at a higher octave. Okay, so this note, which is our A, is going to be the same as this one. So if we were starting the fourth pattern in the key of E right here on the third dot, then we just know we can also play it in the third dot here as well. So it'd be... Okay. So you could also play this here as well. reside right there on E so you know that's an E. So if our fourth pattern is there 
then that means our third pattern is going to be here, and our second pattern is going to be here, and then our first pattern is going to be open, okay? <clears throat> third pattern would be here. As well as up here. So you can hear that they're the same notes, they're just a higher octave up here. And uh, musical notes are very much like colors on a, uh, you know, um, an artist's colors. You got red, green, blue, and then you have different shades of them. So as you can tell, these notes have a little bit darker tone, and these ones have a little bit higher tone. So depending on the color you're going for would be where you would play that, okay? So once again, work on that. I don't want to make this video too long like I mentioned before, but work on that. If you have any questions, you can contact me, shoot me an email, whatever you want to do. Um, <clears throat> but if you work on this in these different keys, you know, try it in different keys, figure out, you know, if you're in B, where is it going to be up here, where is it going to be down here? And then in the next video, I'll show you the fifth one. And then in the video after that, we'll put it all together and, and I'll show you how it all works together, playing it in like a song, okay? So, thank you very much for your time. You have yourself a good one. Have fun practicing and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.